morning children how are you i hope all are doing well right so uh, today we will learn two concepts that is rounding up and uh, next uh, we will learn uh, roman numerals right what is the first concept that is this concept is not new right for you you are already familiar with this concept rounding of numbers so yeah before starting this concept just a uh, few instructions for you student that is um, again the second worksheet also i got from the only few students right so see i have the list that means we are giving the worksheet for 10 marks right two sections prithvi and arvash so i am in this pradiksha is uh, very good she got the 10 out of 10 in two worksheets i am so many students eh? but the second worksheet are uh, almost eight students from the prithvi i am six students from the arvash please send the worksheet all right so um, i am one more so uh, that means who are watching this video they are sending the worksheet right good but uh, if it is you have the time just take the time call your friends also motivate them uh, to watch the video and do the worksheet okay and one more instruction that is you are sending the worksheet uh, good but uh, few students are telling the fix it is not clearly not visible right so i have to do the corrections i am you are and your name section also is not clear while you are taking the pic, right? So, to work on that, um, you can download uh, Cam Scanner for app, right? From the Google Play, you can have, you will get the Cam Scanner, right? This is the app you can download from the Google Play Store and you can take the pics from this app, okay? You will get the uh, uh, very clear pictures, okay? This is the main instructions. I hope this time that the, after this class we get the worksheet. So all take the pictures from the, this uh, app only and write your name and section very clearly and in the large uh, alphabets. Okay, that is better. Hmm? So these are few instructions I want to give you. Uh, now we will start the concept that is rounding up numbers. Right. I hope uh, this is not the new concept, right? Already you are familiar with this uh, previous class that is in your fourth class. <coughs> well, now, up to which numbers you are rounding up, uh, you learned in the fourth class, I mean, uh, rounding up nearest to 10, 100, right? 1000. <coughs> All those concepts you learned in the previous. Now, in this class, you will round, <coughs> learn rounding up to the Last place, right? So rounding off to the last place, right? Now we learn the uh, <coughs> method, right? So first I will take the one number which contains the last place, right? So <coughs> How many digits will contain in last place? If you write the number in last place, means at least minimum six digits, right? Now, see, read the number. We have the ones place, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakhs, right? Ones, tens, hundred, thousand. Right, 10,000 lakhs plus we have 2 lakhs 45,325. Now, this you need to round it up, right? Actually, first of all, tell the student why we do this rounding of the nearest 2 lakhs, nearest 10, why we need the rounding of numbers. Actually, where it helps to we need to do the rounding of 10, <coughs> right? Where suppose example. Uh, if you want to purchase the notebooks, right? Now you came to the new class and you want to purchase the new class notes, right? So you will ask your mother, uh, give some amount, uh, money, if you want to go to the market, right? How much amount general you will ask? That is 200, right? Uh, otherwise, if you want more notebooks, you will ask the 500, right? But are you asked like 200, 12 rupees, 
find the time of this you will ask like this no right general case are telling right you will ask for one there are times right that means what is mean is that means the particular standard figure numbers we are asking right uh, suppose if i ask one more example what is your uh, town's population generally you will get 10 lakhs right 10 lakhs right that means if we add the government they will say exact figure but generally you will say 10 lakh above right that means that, that such cases you need the rounding up that means in where in these two uh, uh, situations we are not need exact value just our nearest value we are asking right if you need 200 rupees also you can ask you i need 200 rupees like that whenever where we use the rounding up numbers that means where exact not number that means we will not need exact value and we need only the approximation value right in that case only we use the rounding up numbers right now what is the first rounding up to the last place right so what is the digit in the last place we have two now i am going to explain the method how to round up this number that means nearest to the last place, right? Already 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 is rounding up up to here. You learned in the previous class only, okay? So now, <coughs> see the first step. Identify the last place digit, right? That is 2, right? Next step. What is the immediate right digit? That is 4. Or we can say, what is the digit in the 10,000th place? That is 4. Right? Now, the second, the rule says, if this number is less than 5. Right? If this number, that means this digit is less than 5, then make all the digits equals to 0. Right? Right? Make all the digits equals to 0 and keep the last Positions digit as this. Once again, I'm explaining this. Huh? First, they given the number and they last rounding up to the last place. Then you will write the place value chart and identify the digit in the last place. Right? Then identify the immediate right of this place, or you can say before position that is 10,000. We are rounding up last means identify the 10,000 10,000 place digit that is. This one. In this number, we have the 4, right? Now, if this digit is less than 5, then make the all digits except the last place, right? Because we are rounding up the last place only. So, except last place, make the remaining digits equals to 0. Now, I am writing. This is the 2 lakh, right? So, what is the nearest uh, to <coughs> rounding of the nearest last place for this given number that is 2 lakh. Clear? Right? First step, they will give the number and you need to identify the before position digit if it is less than 5 and it should make the all remaining digits equals to 0. This is the one case. Next, what I put here if the digit is equal to 5 or greater than 5. Right? That is second condition. So, in that, I take one more example for that. Yeah, this is the uh, 6 class 75,340, right? Now, the second case. What is that? The last place we are rounding off, that is 6. The immediate right of the 6, that is, we have the 7 digit. Or we can say, last place, this is Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, <coughs> lakhs, right? Now, immediate lakh position, what is that position? Ten thousand. What is the value we have? Seven. The condition equal or greater than five, right? Greater than or equals to five. If this digit greater than five or equals to five. Now, in this case, we have the greater than five. First case, right? Now, next, second step. If like this happen, that means this digit is greater than 5. The next step is, you should add 1 to the, this last uh, place digit, right? You should add 1 value to this 
six lakh digit, right? What is the value next? The remaining digit all should make to the zero, right? When we will add one to a six, right? You will get the seven, and the remaining digit you should make the zero, right? I am again explaining this one. First, we are rounding up to the lakhs place. We should identify the lakhs place digit, right? Next step, immediate right. What is the digit you should identify? If it is <coughs> greater than five, then add one to the lakhs place digit and make the remaining digit zero, right? Now you got the value that is seven lakh. I hope clear, right? Same. If it is in this place five. Right, one more case. Right, if it is exact to five, then also the same thing. You add one to the last position digit and make the remaining digit zero. I hope clear this. Right. Next, rounding up to the ten lakh place. Ten lakh place. Right. Ten lakh place. So now we will take one number. Contains ten lakhs value, right? Right. See, write the ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh. Right. This is the what is the value here? Fifty-three lakhs forty thousand three hundred. Now, what is the first step <coughs> to identify the? Which place we are rounding up? That is, here we are doing ten lakhs position. Now this is we have the five. Now what is the immediate right value? That means in lakhs position, what is the digit we have? That is three. That means this is less than five. If it is less than five, what is the condition? We have to make the all digit equals to zero except where we are rounding up the place is. <coughs> Not included. That means keep five as the same. The make the remaining digits equals to zero, right? Now what is the nearest value for fifty three lakhs forty thousand three hundred? That is fifty lakh, right? Fifty lakh only. Fifty three lakh forty thousand three hundred nearest value that is fifty lakh. Clear, right? So. What about the if the value here is equal fifty five lakh, right? Now suppose if it is fifty lakh, now how? What is the rounding of ten lakh place for this number, right? We have the five immediate right. We have the five. What is the step if it is equals to five? Remaining must add one to this position digit that is ten lakh position. What is the value? We have the five. If you add one, you will get the Six and the remaining digit you should make to the equal zero, right? Sixty lakh. If it is fifty-five lakh forty thousand three hundred, rounding up to the number, we get the that is sixty lakh. I hope clear, right? Next, this is rounding up to the. Uh, Indian values, right? Lakhs, ten lakhs means we, these are the Indian system. So in this also you have the uh, crore place, that means rounding up to the crore place and rounding up to the ten crore place. Similar, the same thing. What is the procedure? First identify the the place digit where you are rounding up. Then identify the immediate right digit. If it is less than five, make the all digits zero except where we are doing the rounding up digit. And if it is greater than or equal to five, then make add one to the the position digit where we are rounding up, and make other digits equals to zero. This is the procedure. I hope clear. For crores and ten crores also same. Now rounding up to the international values, right? Up to now we did the rounding up to the Indian values only, right? Now we will rounding up to the International values, right? The method is same, so no need to confuse. Just will represent the international values only. But rounding up to the numbers, the method is same. Now I will write one number for international. So rounding up to the. <coughs> 
millions place value ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand and millions right what is the value we have millions place that is c and immediate direct value what is the ones right we have the one one means it is less than five so now what is the next step make all the digits equals to zero and keep this digit as is so this is the value rounding up to given number i hope clear right next we have same rounding up to the 10 millions and 100 millions that is also you can do at home that is procedure same everything the same you have to check where we are rounding up the first digit then check the condition immediate right or before position digit if it is greater than or equals to 5 the same thing adding one making remaining digit zero if less than 5 just keep the digit as is and make the remaining digit equals to zero i hope clear rounding up to the numbers right next we have the concept that is roman numerals right so and this called roman numerals concept also you are familiar with right few things but i will learn how to write what are the rules for roman numerals that means to write roman numerals what are the rules right so those things we will learn the next concept is roman numerals right so in the roman numerals we have the seven symbols right see the seven symbol goes on i v x n c d m right these are the hindu numeric <laughs> indo arabic number system values now i means one the symbol v for 50 x for 10 and l for 50 c for 100 and d means symbol 500 and m means 1000 right so in this roman numeral we don't have the zero value right so now we write the roman numerals to write roman numerals we have the four rules right now the rule one first part right so um, this is the interesting topic please keep it okay while watching the video make sure that zero disturbance is going right in the so feel like you are in classroom only okay you will get the concentration on topic okay now the rule one right so rule one is what says means uh, if any number or which is symbol repeated then the value should be get added if the symbol repeated two times twice the value added two times right if the symbol is repeated thrice means the value should be added three times just i will explain the example see suppose we have the i i right what rule one says if any number repeated the value is added what is the value of i for that is i 1 1 more i 1 that is 2 double i the symbol value is 2 right now suppose triplets what is the value One x means ten. Again, x means ten. Again, ten. What is the value? That is thirty. Right? That means if any number repeated, the value can be added as many times it repeats. Right? So, how many symbols we have? Seven. Right? In this seven, only four symbols are repeated. Right? How many symbols can be repeated? The repetition also it can be two times or three times. Not more than. Three times, right? The symbols I, V, <coughs> which symbol that is I, X, C, next M, right? These symbols can be repeated. Up to how many times it can be repeated? Three times only, not more than. Three times these are repeated. Okay. Now the symbols which are not repeated, that is V, L, I, D. Right? These symbols never repeat. Never repeat. Okay. Repeated. These symbols never repeat, and four symbols can be repeated. Right? The repetition also up to three times only, not more than three times. Right? The value every time it should get me added. I hope rule number one is clear, right? Just I will uh, take one more example. 
So see how many times you are repeated? Two times, right? And this is value. See one value that is hundred plus hundred. Now B value that is five. What is the value C C B that is two hundred and five? I hope clear rule number one, right? So rule one says that if any symbol repeated, the value should be added. And the same from the seven symbol, the four symbols can be repeated, and this three symbol never be repeated, right? This is about the rule number one. Next, the rule one. Next, rule number two, right? Hello. 
क्रेन राइट नेक्स्ट मिलर रूम नंबर Now, rule three, simple, very easy. And what rule three says means, if any smaller number written to the right of bigger number, then the value of smaller will be added to the bigger one. Right? Example, rule two, written smaller to the left of bigger. Rule three, smaller written to the right of bigger. Right? <coughs> The smaller number when you return to the right of bigger one, the value should be added. What is the b value? That is five. I hope you are getting the point right. So one more instruction. So by watching the video, uh, that makes you zero uh, disturbance, right? That means the room like you should feel you are in the classroom only, okay? So then you will uh, you will get the concentration on the topic, okay? <coughs> B. That is five. What rule says? If we can write to the bigger number, the value will get added. Right? I value is one. Five plus one, that is six. That means B I value is six. Right? Next. No. Smaller number.
1.5 now first question in the first week cc x exercise that is 1.5 see right so they given the roman numerals and you need to write the uh, hindu arabic value right so first thing what is the c value See from the table that is hundred. The two times repeated, right? C is repeated two times. That one C means hundred. Again one more C means hundred. Next X. What is the value of X? That is ten. Hundred plus hundred two hundred. That means the value of C C X in the uh, Hindu Arabic value is that is two hundred and ten. Clear, right? In this question only, we solve one more thing. D width, what is the D width? D, X, L. Now, what is the D value? That is 500. Now, see, L value is 50 and X is small. Then, that means smaller is written to the left or bigger one. Right? We write. 50 minus 10. Okay, clear that this is the D 500 and X is written in between two bigger and this should be subtracted from the immediate right of the bigger value. 500 plus 50 minus 10 is 40. 540. The value of D X and X is 540. Right? So in this question you have the number of bits. Solve the Remaining bits, okay? Next one. So, second question. That is, uh, second question is homework for you, okay? Doing homework book, but I will explain the question what to do, okay? I am reading the question, listen. Write the numbers of your choice and write them in the Roman numeral system, right? That means take any six your choice numbers, right? First, write the six numbers, your choice numbers, and write the Roman numerals for those six numbers. This is uh, your duty. You should do the second question in your homework. Next, I am going to explain the third question, right? In the third question, first bit. So, what is the third question? Right? The question is they given the Hindu numeric number, right? Now, for this number, you need to write the Roman <coughs> numerals, right? Still now, we will write written the Roman numerals, right? <coughs> for the Indian numbers. Now, they given the value of Hindu Arabic. Now, you need to write the Roman numerals. So, we have the, two, the steps. That means, we have the method. Now, I am going to explain. Listen carefully. The first step should be, you should write the given number in the expanded form. Right? You already learned the expanded form, right? In the previous class, we started only first we should write the expanded form. Expanded form. For given number. Right? So, 207. How will you write? 200. Then, Plus 7. This is the expanded form for given, right? Again, this 200 I am writing 100 plus 100. That's all right. 200 again I am written 100 plus 100. If you add this 200, you will get again 200. Then, plus 7. Now, we have 100. What is the symbol for 100? What is the symbol? C. Right? Next, one more 100 that means C repeats two times. Next, then what is the symbol we have? That is X. Now 7. <coughs> Directly we don't have the any specific symbol for 7. But how will you take it? 5 we have. For 5 if you add. Right? <coughs> Otherwise, just to break one step. Again one more step I will write. We will get more clarity. 100 plus 100. Then again this 7 I am writing. 5 plus now 100 C, again C, 10 means X. Now 5 plus 2, 5 we have the symbol, right? 2 means I can be repeated 2 times. T 
clear now, right? What is the value uh, in Roman numeral for given 270? That is CCX B double I. This is the Roman numeral for the given 270. I hope, right? First step for given number, you should write the expanded form, right? If they given like 7, if it is 6, so then you will write 5 plus 1. So, expanded form uh, one figure. Next, you should write directly for the symbols, right? I hope clear. And in this third question, one more bit I will explain. And we have the number of bits, uh, you should solve the remaining bits, okay? Keep subject notebook for mathematics and write the class notes first chapter. 